To access the burners, unlatch and open the door, swing it down part way and slide it to the right to remove it. Then remove the lower panel, remove the retaining pins, and remove the panel. There are four circuit protection devices, a resettable thermal breaker for the blower fan, a burner reset, a high temp reset, and the IQ controller fuse. The main power switch must be turned on in order to power the IQ controller. The switch was eliminated on 0224MH16 and up units. Here is a view inside the junction box. The relay powers the fuel heater probe on the fuel filter housing. Incoming power goes into the power supply where the part of the power is converted into 12 volts DC to power the IQ controller. 120 volts AC also comes out of the power supply to power the burner itself. To remove the burner cover, remove the two screws holding it on. With the cover removed, we can see the ignition transformer, the burner motor, which drives the fuel pump and the burner fan, the fuel pump, and the solenoids. To access the fuel nozzles, First remove the ignition transformer by simply loosening, but not removing, the retaining screw. Then firmly pull back on the transformer to snap it out of place. Next, remove the two screws that retain the fuel rail assembly cover. Then carefully remove the cover exposing the fuel rail assembly. To remove the fuel rail assembly, loosen and uncouple the two copper fuel tubes from the bulkheads then carefully remove the fuel rail assembly, taking care not to bend the fuel lines. Here is a general view of the fuel rail assembly. Here you can see the electrodes and the nozzles. There are two different nozzle sizes a one gallon per hour nozzle on the left and a two gallon per hour nozzle on the right. Install the fuel rail assembly by carefully reversing the removal steps. When installing the fuel rail assembly, be careful of the copper fuel lines, taking special care not to bend them. Be sure to seat the groove in the fuel rail into the slot of the housing, then reattach the fuel lines to the bulkhead and tighten firmly. Align the copper lines into the notches of the burner housing as shown. Please note that there are plastic tubes wrapping the two copper fuel lines. These must be in place during installation to prevent chafing of the lines against the burner housing. Then carefully install the fuel rail assembly cover. There are two temperature sensors located on the exhaust end of the MCS heater. The temperature sensor, which provides real-time temperature data for the IQ controller. The high temperature limit switch, which serves as a safety over temperature switch to protect the heat exchanger from damage. Reinstall the panels as shown. 